Hi, this is Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts, here to share one of my uh, viewers named Sean. I'm only given one name. He shared something with me, and I thought it was worthy of repeating. I asked his permission. He gave it to me. So listen up. I'm basically reading and kind of transliterating as I go, uh, transliter whatever the word. I'm working the words in ways that it flows. So it may not be exactly what he wrote, but it would be very close. It's just that I speak a certain way and it makes it easier for me to custom, custom blend it so that I can read without stuttering and stammering. Here we go. Demons like going for children, you know. My whole life, I have seen and heard things I cannot understand. I am 40 years old now, and I follow Jesus the best I can. Now, this is a man speaking. Listen to this. But I need to improve. A couple of months ago, I prayed to have Jesus visit me, and when I fell asleep, I felt something pulling me. Then I saw a woman sitting on my bed next to my wife. She was wearing all black, had black hair, and a nail file in her hand, filing her nails down. And she told me, she says, stop what you're doing and I will give you fame and fortune. And I said, no. Then I called on the name of Jesus and she screamed and disappeared. I saw a guy next. He was waiting for me to say, yes. I called on Jesus again. Then he exploded. Then I saw Jesus with the biggest smile I ever saw anyone with. And with his arms open wide, he gave me a hug. He didn't say anything, but I knew he was happy with me. Then I woke up. If I told you everything that happened to, in my life, I'd be writing all night. Thank you for reading. God bless. Now, the one thing I want you to think about is demons do go for children. And those of you who parent in a Christian home, you really need to tell your children about the, the heritage they have in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't just allow things to happen. You have to be in control because in so doing, your children are covered in the blood of Jesus. They're covered. You speak words. You declare and decree over their lives, protection, divine protection. Uh, dispatch angels. Bless them. Bless. Don't curse them. Build them up. Don't put them down. Constructive criticism, it's not harmful. But criticism without love, criticism in the spirit of anger is very destructive and it will tear your children down. What little confidence they may be developing, you will burn it up into smoke and they will never be the people they could have been had you kept your mouth shut when you were annoyed. Now, moving right along, yes, you have to also watch what your children are watching. You have to guard them day and night because little imps, little demonic powers try to infiltrate their minds. They will either make them hate themselves or see themselves as ugly or, or whatever. And then what they'll end up doing, if you are not careful, is when they're playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and Ouija boards and, and calling uh, uh, psychic hotlines and playing on the internet and stumbling on the stuff that's meant for adults that really aren't meant for anybody, but you know how that goes. X-rated stuff, porn, whatever, violence, violence, hatred, hate, hateful music, hateful rap, hate, I mean, just anything that's that's got 
that is opposed to the ways of God, opposed to the ways of love, peace, unity. You are leaving doors open for your children. Now, I had to confirm what he said when he said demons like going into children. They do. Now, here's another one you have to think of. The power and authority that's in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. One night I had a dream. I dreamt we were upstairs in our New York apartment. My parents were in bed, my sisters, my brothers, they were asleep. I was awake, standing in the kitchen. The kitchen door was open. I looked down to see what the noise is. There's this similar to what he saw. What I saw was a black, couldn't tell if it was male or female, looked more male. Black suit, black pants, black shoes, black Doberman pincher, black face made of burlap, no nose, no eyes, okay? Hair like the strings of a mop. Everything was black on it. It's walking up the stairs. In my mind, it's coming to do harm to, to, to the family members, to our household. So I took authority and I'm, I'm asking first, who are you? What do you want? What do you want? Steadily climbing those stairs. Thank God it was a long staircase. Okay. Then I finally said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I command you to leave. Leave in the name of Jesus. And the thing just began to go backwards. Now the dog had put, I forgot to mention this, when the thing stood still and I'm trying to ask who it was, the dog grabbed my arm with its teeth. And I commanded him to let me go in the name of Jesus and then rebuked the dog. The dog fell as if he was dead and he disappeared. Now I start rebuking this demon and I'm telling him, leave the house in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And what he did was back down the stairs. He didn't turn around and walk down or run down. He backed down the stairs and backed all the way out of the house and off the property. Now, uh, I was, I was about seven years later, I'm in church. See, this stuff is real. You may not want to believe it's real, but it's real. I'm in church. We have a guest preacher. He stands there and describes an incident in a dream where this demon creature comes up his winding staircase toward, you know, all his bedrooms were all on the upper level. And he was upstairs looking over the staircase. His wife was in the bedroom and he's standing guard now because there is an intruder in his house. The intruder has black pants, black, black shoes, a black blazer, black burlap face with no features, black, uh, uh, spools of yarn hanging from the head. Exactly the creature that I saw. And check this out, a black Doberman pincher by his side. That man didn't know me. I didn't know him. I had never heard of a demon of that description. But I saw it with my own two eyes in my dream. And he saw one with his own two eyes in his dream. When he started commanding that booger to go back, to leave that house, he rebuked it. He said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave my house and my property right now in the name of Jesus. He did the exact same thing. He backed down the stairs, the dog right by his side, both of them backing down the stairs till he backed all the way out of the house and off the property. You don't have to believe it if you don't want to. I was so freaked when he told that story. And I had to go up and tell him after the service, you and I had the same encounter with the exact same demon that respond, that looked exactly the same and responded in the same manner. How crazy is that? Now, you can choose to believe it. 
you can decide, oh, that's just coincidence. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All you want. But I tell you what, I know for sure that was not a coincidence. And I know that the name of Jesus has all authority. Now, I'm going to leave you chewing on that. You take that one to the Lord and see what you come back with.